Hey, welcome to this tutorial on Billbox. So the idea of this tutorial is to provide you an overview so that you can make games with Billbox pretty quick. So before I start with the tutorial, let me give you an overview of what Billbox is. So Billbox is uh, a no code movement and uh, it's a product that can be used to build games without writing any code but if you want you can write code that's up to you but billbox has all the features that you can just drag and drop and create games without you writing any single line of code so it can be used to create both 2d as well as 3d games in this tutorial i'll show how to create a basic 3d game so the idea is to showcase all the features of billbox that you need to create a game Okay, so let's start with the Billbox uh, software. So here you can see the templates available. You have a lot of templates, pre-built templates available to you. For example, if you want to create something like a subway surfer or temple run, that kind of a game, uh, you can use this uh, template. It has all these movements and uh, other elements inbuilt into that. So you just need to uh, grab that template and change the graphics and uh, just alter the game, gameplay as you wish. Similarly, there are a lot of templates available for almost all kinds of hyper casual game models. All right. So let's create a game from scratch. We are not going to use any templates for this tutorial. I will just do create new. I can create a 2D or 3D. So let's create a 3D game. All right, so this is the basic, uh, the first default 3D view that you see. It has a start node and a 3D world. In Billbox, everything is a node and you connect nodes using these links, okay? So you can just drag and drop and create a link. All right. So now, in uh, another thing is in Billbox, everything is inside a world. So depending on your license, uh, you may get multiple worlds or single world. So this tutorial, I'm using a free version of Billbox. So you will see only one world. Uh, yeah. So this is the world, 3D world. And uh, by default, I get a cube. So to make this cube, my player or the core character, I just need to drag and drop it into the characters tab. Okay. So now this cube is my character and I need to change this collision group to character all right so now if you click this cube here you can see that it has physics as dynamic so dynamic physics means it is affected by gravity you can change any of these parameters for this tutorial I will just leave it as is but I don't want the cube to be this big so let me reduce its size okay this is good enough and place it here okay and you can see these two nodes okay so this one is the start node and this is the end node you can see here as well so the game happens between these two nodes so if you want a longer gameplay you can just uh, drag and drop or drag your end node a bit further in the z-axis so so that you get a little bit longer gameplay all right so now we have our cube and yeah and this is the camera okay this is you click here and then you can see how it looks in the camera this is how the game will look uh, when you play it okay so let's play it and see what happens all right there's a cube and it just stays there we want the cube to move forward always and we want to control the cube using left and right swipes so let's do that so I'll click the cube and this view, I'll change the movement of the cube. So let me add a node here, move nodes. Okay, move node has certain parameters here. You can control the speed and I want the cube to move forward, right? So I don't want the cube to have any X velocity. Yeah, so, so whatever velocity, it's zero. 
but in his head i want the cube to move with the speed of 3 i'll put it as minus 3 so that the cube moves away from me and i will connect the start node with the move so now the cube will move forward let's check this yeah cube is moving forward but did you notice one thing our camera is not following the cube that's why the cube is becoming small and small because it's moving away and the camera is not following it let's fix that first go back to the 3d view select the camera and change the position follow to character so now the camera will follow the player let's test this here now the cube size keeps constant and our camera is following it very good so now go back to the cube now we want the cube to move left and right based on the swipe so, so let's go to the controls and let's see yeah there's a four-way swipe available all right this swipe i will just enable it and when i click left it has to move left so i can just use the move node again for movement i will use the move node yeah this move node left x direction it let it move with the speed of four and these values i am not putting anything what this means is whatever value the cube has currently for these values let it use that okay and obviously when you want to move right the velocity has to be positive all right so let's test this yeah when i swipe left it goes left and right it goes right that's good so that's our basic game now there is no fun element to it there are no enemies a cube just moves but you can control its movement that's all the game has now so let's add some enemies so you can add enemies by clicking the asset libraries and you have these basic shapes you can create enemies out of that or you can use any of these smart assets so let's look at some of the smart assets yeah i see enemy here so maybe i can use this and uh, yeah this also i can use so so i have two enemies close the asset library now i can drag and drop these enemies here this one can go here yeah but this one is little bit uh, bigger so let me reduce its size yeah i think this is good enough all right so all right so this is just for demonstration so let's place it here as is and uh, yeah let's play it what are, let's play uh, okay yeah but a cube collides with the enemy but there is no game or it just continues so we want the game to be over as soon as the cube or our character hits the enemy right so to that we need to do some work we need to tell billbox that when you collide with the enemy you do some action so that we can do it here go back to your cube cube is our character okay player so now i will add some actions okay this if collide node i will add here so what this tells is and enable it if our player or cube collides with something so that's something we can pick here so it, it collides with the enemy we want some action to happen okay so now what we are told is when our player collides with the so now when the player collides with the enemy we want to show a game over okay so what you need to do is you need to find an event okay so in the actions you can see the event you can use the search or you can go to the 
actions and see the event. So when the player collides with this enemy, so any asset that has this enemy collision group, you want to do a menu jump. So that means when the collision happens, a menu jump event gets triggered. And when this event gets triggered, we want to show a user interface, game over user interface. Let's do that. Go here. So now we don't have any user interface. Let's create one. So this will be our game over screen. So let's name it game over screen. Okay. All right. Now, since we have triggered an event and it's a menu jump, you can see there is a new output in the 3D world. So we'll drag and drop here this event to the UI load. So that means when this event happens, this UI will be shown. Let's go into that UI and let's add a game over text. Just drag and drop this label. All right. So this is, uh, let's put it to the center and let's name it game over. Game over. All right. Okay. Now, when our player collides with an enemy, this screen will be coming up. So if you want, you can create a good background for this uh, user interface. Let's do that later. Uh, let's come here. Yeah. So now go to the 3D world our cube and we have this menu jump. Let's try and play the game. Yes. So now our player has collided with the enemy and we have this game over menu coming up. So unfortunately for for now we don't have a restart button. So we need to add a restart button as well so that the game can start again. So let's do that. Uh, go to our game over screen. So so restart is, is actually Say if you go to these buttons, right? We have a lot of buttons here. Let's look at which button is appropriate for this navigation button. You can see the uh, a pop up for or a description of that button here. So navigation button, it's appropriate for restart button or can change other various type of settings. So let's use that. So this is our navigation button and. Uh, you can you can give it an any image uh, for this button so we don't have any images in our project so we need to add some images so that we can attach that image to the button okay so let me add some images uh, okay i will use this image i have dragged and drop it here so this is our restart button all right So this restart button, let's make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. So now you can see there is a function available in this button, right? So there are a lot of choices available. We want the game to restart. So let's make it as a restart. So when you click here, the restart function will be triggered. That is the game will start again. Okay, let's test this. So it moves here and we have the button. So when we click, yeah, game restarts. So now what is left is we don't have a, we don't add, we haven't set a text here. So let's add a restart text here on top of this uh, navigation button. Let's add a text. So we can add it as a uh, underneath this. So yeah, this is fine. So text we can put it as restart yeah so now let's move this up so that it it's on top of this all right this looks good we can change the color
yeah there was some some place where you can change the text color i think we have to go to the phone menu let's look at that later for this let's stick with this we can even uh, test this yeah yeah now the restart button comes okay that's good so we are avoiding the enemy so our game is progressing well but uh, let's try again does it work with this yeah so it works with all the enemies so now we have a basic game ready and uh, i hope you enjoyed this there will be more tutorials available and we will cover a lot of things like changing the phone color and then adding level progression etc in, in in the next tutorials okay stay tuned enemy do some action that action we need to tell here